So we have been talking about the volume of rectangular prisms and how to calculate that. And currently we're doing that using unit cubes. We're going to have a quiz on that on Wednesday. It's just sort of a continuation of what we did in lesson one. And so I wanted to just go ahead and record a video of me solving these so that you can see a couple of the ways to do that. So looking at this first one, I already marked, I can see that there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 unit cubes in one layer. And I can see that there are 1, 2, 3 layers. So 12 cubes in each layer times 3 layers is 12 times 3, um, which is 36 cubic units and we do the little three exponent or the little floating three to show that that is cubed. 36 cubic units. Um, so most students are seeing it this way. They're looking at the top layer and then figuring out how many layers there are. Some kids are seeing it more like a loaf of bread and they're slicing it vertically. And so in this case we would look at this layer so that would be one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen cubes in that slice and there are one two three four slices i know that 15 times 2 is 30 so 15 times 4 is 60 and again that's cubic units or units cubed. The other way that some kids, this is where we're heading, but some students have already made sense of this and figured it out, is to use the formula volume equals length times width times height. So they're able to look at this cube and say, okay, it's four cubes across with a width of four cubes front to back and a height of two. And they don't really know a way to multiply three numbers. So what I've taught them to do is put parentheses around two of them. They could do parentheses around four times four, then they would be doing 16 times two. In this case, I know that four times two is eight and then I'm bringing down the 4, and 4 times 8 is 32 unit cubes, or cubic units, or units cubed. So three different ways, looking at the top layer and then counting the layer, looking at a slice and then counting the slices. The easiest way, the way that we're trying to get to, get everyone to, is length times width times height. I hope this makes sense. Um, quizzes on Wednesday. As always, please let me know if you have questions.